In the previous videos I have mentioned a few different terms such as continuous integration, continuous delivery and continuous deployment. So in this video I want to make a final clarification what is it, what is each of them, what are these practices and what's the difference between them because it's very popular question on any interview, any assessment when, or when you want to get any new job. Somebody from technical perspective can ask you what's the difference and you should understand it. And uh, as we're going to continue our work in our course, we need to understand what's the difference really and uh, what we should implement or do on each step. So let's check the first one, it's continuous integration. As I mentioned, it mentioned before, we have a few steps of pipeline. Continuous integration is a practice of merging all our codes to one main developer branch or master branch and after that it's it, there is validating of our code by builds and running unit tests or integration tests. We do it to avoid any conflict because in case when we have a huge team each team may develop some part of code or some feature and merge to main branch and uh, we want to have the latest version of, of our code and uh, we want to make sure that it works fine. It's continuous integration. We have code push, it's our trigger or pull request and uh, we have the run these pipelines. The next one is continuous delivery. It's the next step. It uh, extends our continuous integration with a few new steps. It's deployed to staging. As I mentioned, it's some test environment, which should be as much, as much as possible similar to our production environment. And then we run end-to-end -end tests. Why do we run it after deploy, deploying to stage? Because uh, first of all, we need the environment where these tests can be run, because test runner should open the browser and run all these tests. And uh, it takes a lot of time. It can, be, it can take 10, 12 hours. So if we run this test on the continuous integration phase, it, uh, uh, it may be that we never will finish this test because continuous integration can be run a thousand or hundreds times a day and integration tests and to end tests, they took a lot of time. So we deploy to staging and after that uh, we can deploy to staging not after each trigger, but just in some cases uh, daily or one, once a day, once a week, and then run end-to-end -end tests. And after that we can deploy to production. But here what is important is manual. So we need to click a button and somebody should have decision to run the code, the latest version to production. And after that we can run some smoke tests on or some different send some notifications or, or set up some environment. And continuous deployment, it's uh, almost the same, but one small change is deploy to production in automatic way. So we do not need uh, a people or we do not need a human who will click a button. All changes will go to production automatically in case the, te the tests were green. And just in case one test was failed, there will be no deploy to production. And here let's clarify is you can pause a video and read what does it mean. And it's everything what I mentioned before. So continuous integration when developers merge their changes back to the main branch as often as possible just to get the latest version of code and know that the changes didn't break anything and uh, the changes are validated by creating a build and running automated tests against the build. As I mentioned, it might be unit tests or integration tests. So by do doing so, we avoid the integration hell that usually happens when uh, people wait for release date to merge their changes into the release branch. As I mentioned before, it might be really difficult. Continuous delivery, it's extension of continuous integration. I can say that it's the next step. And when you made your changes, you can release these new changes to your customer quickly in a suitable way. This, that means that uh, on top of having automated your testing, 
you also have automated your release process and you can deploy your application at any point of time by clicking a button. What is important is this manual action. So somebody should make this decision and publish it to production. And continuous deployment, as I mentioned before, it's almost the same, but it will be automatically. So there is no human intervention and everything will be published if all tests are passed. Also, what we should mention here is that um, after that continuous, after continuous deployment, there might be some additional changes or additional steps in our pipeline. For example, we can make some configuration changes like set up A-B testing. We can send notification to users about new features. We can notify support of a new version of our changes and uh, send some change notes. And there are a lot of different steps we can do it after that after the code was released to production that's small schema about what's the difference about continuous integration continuous delivery and continuous deployment